So welcome back to Flatpak FX, the place where I teach you all the tips and techniques for creating your very own video effects. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do some screen replacement using Mocha. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so over in After Effects, I've got this clip here that I've recorded and I've also included all these files as a download link in the description below. Otherwise, you can shoot your own clip and just follow along. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take that clip. I'm gonna right click and create a new comp from selection. Then I'm gonna select that clip. I'm gonna come up to animation and then down to track in Mocha AE. Then you can choose a location that you'd like to save your project and then make sure your frame rate matches to your video clip. Okay, so over in Mocha, we're gonna scrub through the timeline and find a part where the hand actually covers majority of the screen. Then we're gonna come up to our spline tool, and this is where I actually wanna to start to draw a quick mask that just follows the edges here. So we're telling Mocha to only track what's inside that mask, and I'm also gonna select all these edges and just drag them out. Then I can just reposition some of those edges. The other thing I'm going to do is come up to my show planar surfaces, and I basically want to drop this over the edge of my iPhone screen. Now the key here is to actually go a little bit further than the screen itself. So for this part here, I'm just going to try and guess where it fits in, just to line up with those two edges. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to come down to my track menu down the bottom. The first thing I'm going to do is just change this to around 100%, and I'm also going to make sure the perspective is also selected. Then I'm just going to come back up and start tracking forward. Now as this is tracking, I'm watching this blue mask here, the planar track area, to make sure that it's not slipping. Now that it's finished, I'm just gonna take my playhead, drag it back to where we started, and I'm gonna start tracking back the other way. So the reason also that we've only selected part of our screen for the track is that Mocha will only track the still parts of our phone. We don't wanna confuse it by including the movement of the hand and things like that. So we're just gonna try and isolate it to the other parts of the phone. Now I can just readjust the edge here if I feel that it's just slightly off, but as long as it covers that screen, that's all we're really looking for. Okay, now that I'm happy with that, the next part is I'm just gonna come down here and just say export tracking data. Now I wanna select this middle one, which is telling After Effects to create corner pins, but it also supports motion blur. So I'm gonna copy this to the clipboard. I can then come up and close Mocha. I'm gonna save that project. And it's very important that you put your playhead back to the very start of the clip. Then I'm gonna right click and create a new solid, it can be whatever color you want, and then just paste that straight on. Now the one thing I've noticed here, the edge here is slightly over the edge. And we don't have to worry about that because that's not actually the part that we're gonna to use to reveal the screen. What we're actually gonna do is remove the green screen and that's gonna leave the perfect outline of our screen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take that solid layer and I'm gonna pre-compose it. So I'm gonna come up to layer, down to pre-compose. Now you can call this one screen just to make it easy. And I'm just gonna double click that to open it up. And what I have here is I already have this clip that I've already made up, which is an animation of what I want my screen to be. Now, if you make this up yourself, just make sure that it's 1080 by 1920 so that it matches the same size as your phone. Then I'm gonna take this layer, I'm gonna right click, come up to transform, and then I'm gonna say fit to comp. And that's just gonna stretch it out. But if I come back to the main comp, you'll see that, that straight away we've got the screen that matches to our phone. So next what I'm gonna do is drag this composition underneath my phone clip. Then with that clip selected, I'm gonna come up to effect down to king and I wanna add the key light. And now we wanna remove the green off the screen itself. So I'm just gonna grab the eyedropper here and select my screen. And then what I'm gonna do is just drag this up slightly more just until we remove a bit more of that green there. Then I'm gonna switch my view to be screen matte and I'm gonna open up the screen matte menu. And I'm simply just gonna roll this back so that it cleans up all that outside. So the black is the part that we wanna remove and the white is what we wanna keep. So you can just clean up that mask slightly. I'm also then just gonna come back to the final result and then I just wanna fix up this edge. I could just come to this screen shrink slash grow and just wind this back slightly. And that's just gonna clean up that edge there. 
and then you can just tweak around with these few settings here. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to actually pull a good key, I do have a video which I'll also link in the description below, and that just teaches you the best way to go about pulling a clean key. But I find that if you mess around with the screen mat and the screen gain, you'll generally get pretty good results. Now I can just scrub through this quickly just to make sure that everything looks good. But say for instance, your screen doesn't quite cover the edges. A simple fix is if you just right click, you can create a new null object, position this in the middle. If I grab my screen layer, I can then parent this to the null. And if I scale this null up very slightly, See, I can actually just cover the edges slightly more here. So I could just fill in on those edges there. So there you go. If I play through my clip now, you can see that everything looks good and everything lines up nicely. Now I've made this whole project available for a free download. So if you wanna download that just to double check the settings, feel free to do that. Now we'll have some more tutorials coming about how to retain reflections and things like that off your screen. So there you go guys, that's how we replace a screen using Mocha inside of After Effects. I hope you've learned something and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Now if you like this video and you want more After Effects content, click the free sign up link below to get your free access to my members only section. Now you'll not only get my free Pro tips guide, but I'll keep you up to date with all the latest tutorials, discounts and content. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.